Hey guys, welcome back to our YouTube channel. It's your girl Fanny Longo back with another reaction video. If you're new to this channel, make sure to give this video a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and of course, do not forget to subscribe. A big shout out to the person that suggested this. If there's any of you guys out there that want us to react to something, whatever it is, drop the link in the comment section below and we'll react to it with time a big shout out to everyone that has been welcoming me back i hope you guys um have been fine um and i hope you guys are really really doing all right if you want to reach us you can find us on facebook as funny and jesse instagram as funny and jesse when i was on twitter but feel free to start a converse to start a conversation there and we'll reply um with time we're just caught up with some things but we're making time to make videos and yeah hopefully they'll be to your satisfaction hopefully there will be something that you will enjoy so today I'm going to be reacting to uh, Dr. Zaki Naik when on Muslims go to heaven or hell we've actually I feel like I've done this or maybe it's a different video but Either way, we're still going to do it, so without wasting time, let's get into the video. Assalamu alaikum. I'm Prabhakran. I'm working as a supervisor. Firstly, I would like to know, there is a common saying in most of the religions that whoever follows God's sayings religiously will go to heaven, and if not, will go to hell. Taking this into consideration, I would like to know what will be the status of non-Muslims on the Day of Judgment. Secondly, I would like to know the importance of the holy month of Ramadan for the benefit of non-Muslims who have come here. And finally, I would like to say from the little experience I have gained in my life, I can strongly say Islam is the only religion which has clear-cut, sound theoretical knowledge supported with logical examples with reasoning. The brother has asked three questions or three statements he had made. The first question was that all the religions say that if you don't believe in the commandments of God, you will go to hell. What will happen to non-Muslim on the Day of Judgment? Brother, as I mentioned earlier, the Quran says in Surah Nisa chapter 4, verse 48, and Surah Nisa chapter 4, verse 116, Allah, if he pleases, he may forgive anything, but the sin of shirk, associating partners with God, he'll never forgive. So if a person dies as a non-Muslim and he associates partners with others, he believes in false gods, he does idol worship, he shall never go to heaven. Compulsory he'll go to hell. To go to heaven, you have to believe in one God, worship him alone, and follow his commandments. Regarding a second question, what is the benefit of the month of Ramadan to the non-Muslims? Quran says in Surah Baqarah chapter 2, verse number 83, fasting has been prescribed to you as it was prescribed to people who came before you so that you may learn self-restraint. The reason we fast is because we increase our taqwa, our God-consciousness, our piety. And Surah Baqarah chapter number 2 verse 185 says, Ramadan was the month in which the Quran was revealed as a guidance to the whole of humanity, as a criteria to judge right from wrong. Ramadan is this month in which the glorious Quran, the last and final revelation, was revealed to the last and final messenger, Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him. And the Quran says, this Quran is a guidance for humanity, not only for Muslims or for the Arabs, for the whole of humanity. And it is a criteria to judge right from wrong. So this month of Ramadan, how does it benefit the non-Muslims? Quran was revealed in it as a guidance for whole of humanity, Muslims and non-Muslims. Furthermore, beloved Prophet Muhammad وسلم, said, Ramadan is the month in which the Satans, they are imprisoned. The gates of heaven are open and the gates of hell are closed. That means there are more chances you'll do good deeds. A person does more good deeds in Ramadan, the chances of doing bad deeds is less. As far as non-Muslims, the message of Islam may go very well in the hearts of the non-Muslims because the devil, the Satan, the imprisonment. So more chances of the non-Muslims accepting Islam, more chances he'll come closer to Islam. Regarding a third statement, you believe that Islam has got theoretical points in it and it is backed up with reason and logic. So when you agree that Islam then rules and regulations which are backed up with reason and logic, my question to you in this month of Ramadan, then why don't you accept Islam? 
it is not a question of accepting islam for the matter of fact i do accept all the religions all the good things every religion is saying so i don't have any uh, whether you say you believe in all the good things in all the religions that mean there are some bad things in some religions correct i do agree strongly agree you okay, fine i want to ask you a simple question what do you think is bad in islam practically i have not come across anything bad in islam but maybe in practice people have no in islam don't talk about muslim muslim may be bad i'm not talking about muslims okay talk about islam there are muslims who may have alcohol there are muslims who may cheat i not i've not come across anything very, bad about very islam good. to be Now, very frank you told me very frankly you take good things of all the religions you also said you know there are bad things in other religions and you also said you don't know of anything bad in islam so yeah, now in the other religions you are good and bad in this religion only good suppose i give you two glass of water one is pure pure water other water pure water and one drop of urine so which water will you drink good water of course good pure water so this is a pure religion absolutely pure without adulteration now when i realize it is pure when you are thirsty you will drink the pure water no no i believe it is pure but i won't drink it it doesn't really make sense if i want to get admission in a university i do my survey this university is the best why don't you take admission no i'll think about it ha if you don't have the money to pay your fees fine university is very good but too expensive i can't afford the fees islam is free if you agree it's the best you have to accept it or maybe it's a hypocrisy see if i agree it's the best i have to accept it if you know there are no faults that means god will question you on the day of judgment if you agree god gave you the message in your heart it is the best religion why don't you accept it see if you agree it is the best it's illogical it's illogical not to accept it if you think there's something bad i will clarify your misconception now if you agree it's the best religion if you agree the most logical unless you are illogical if you are logical you have to agree the most logical religion unless you consider yourself to be illogical brother you know sometimes brother emotions what will my mother say what will my father say what will society say muslim so these things may prevent you from accepting i agree it's difficult it's not easy brother but if you are logical if you are scientific you have to accept what is best therefore i say if someone proves to me any religion better than islam i will accept it if someone proves to me today any time there's any religion better than islam i am ready to accept if someone proves to me christianity is better i am ready to accept christianity someone proves to me hinduism is better i am ready to accept hinduism i am not just talking i have discussions with the doctors of divinity with the top christian i am not a scholar i am a student i consider myself to be a student of comparative religion but i have dialogues and discussions and debates with the top scholars of hinduism you know the most popular hindu speaker is shri shri ravi shankar yeah. have you heard of him very much yes he agreed with the quran i'm he a big fan the... of him in fact you are a fan of him mashallah have you seen my debate with shri shri ravi shankar oh uh, no i am not seeing uh, so you should see the debate with your hero yeah shri shri ravi shankar sure. and the student of comparative religion inshallah if i get a opportunity definitely yes. and since you agree even he agreed that god has got no images he agreed in the truthfulness of the quran unfortunately he didn't accept it you know why if you accept you will lose all the following i agree and you agree do you have a following do you have a following brother no i don't have any following very good so what will you lose <laughs> maybe some friendship maybe some relatives it's difficult it's difficult but if you know the truth you should accept it there is nothing wrong about it actually so far so far as of now i have not thought of about this because this is the very toughest and hardest thing in life to me think today in the month of ramadan you ask me how does it benefit non muslims it benefits the non muslims in opening the heart towards the truth so i request you to think it over if not today yet we have another 3 weeks another 2 3 weeks we have till the month of ramadan if not today except in the month of ramadan it will benefit you and inshallah inshallah i can tell you that inshallah if you accept islam all your previous sins will be forgiven 100% so today if you accept islam if suppose you die today i can tell for sure you will go to jannah i am not sure about myself but about yourself i can tell you because the moment a person accepts islam all his previous sins are forgiven if you accept islam and if something happens to you today i don't know about others inshallah you will go to jannah thank you very much thank you for accepting it
my thoughts come in terms of um, questions um, so like the guy that was asking the questions he's acknowledged that yes there's some good parts of Islam but I don't think he's, he's actually accepted it so what do you call those people whether scholars no no more individuals that actually say you know what there's actually some truth to what um is in this religion or the way they practice things or others that say you know what i'm just going to take the good from each and every religion and make that the thing that i live by what would you call those people i'm just curious curious as to what they would be called otherwise he has some very mind triggering questions like they actually make you think you have to think of you also have to think despite dr zaki nai giving a response you yourself that are watching this what are your thoughts on the topic um how would you um have responded to the person that asked the questions or to me who's asking the questions let me know what you guys think if there's something that you guys want us to to react to drop the link in the comment section below and would be more than glad to react to it i'll see you in my next reaction video